Hello Internet, welcome to NS2 learning tutorial series and this is tutorial number 17 and this is going to be uh, a tutorial on wireless sensor network. Now before I start this tutorial I'd like to mention that this tutorial needs some prerequisites to be met in order to perform mm, simulations. Uh, related to wireless sensor networks now let's begin with the definition of a wireless sensor network a wireless sensor network is a collection of specially distributed autonomous sensors to monitor various quantities now how are wireless sensor networks different from mobile ad hoc networks because in mobile ad hoc networks also uh, we have nodes which are uh, traveling randomly and sending data to mm, various uh, other nodes but in 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 a wireless sensor network um, there are two main things which are going to define which are going to be different uh, the first thing will be uh, the energy distribution and the second thing will be spatial distribution now I have decided to uh, cover wireless sensor networks in a two tutorial series um, in the first uh, tutorial that uh, I'm going to be covering the theoretical part of WSNs and in the second tutorial I'll be covering special uh, I'll be covering its uh, analysis the analysis in terms of changing network parameters and monitoring network performance parameters now <coughs> Uh, so I, I have listed down two components that that differentiates wireless sensor networks from a normal network, normal wired wireless network. The first one is an energy distribution. The second one is spatial distribution. Uh, I have a TCL file with me for a wireless sensor network. Now, the first thing that I would like to highlight here is the wireless sensor network standard which is 802.15.4 so you all must read something about 802.15.4 the IEEE standard 802.15.4 which is a standard for wireless sensor networks now if I list uh, the components in energy distribution, there are many, uh, many, many parameters that we specify in wireless sensor networks in terms of their energy distribution. The first one is going to be initial energy. The second one is going to be transmitted power and receiving power. And the last one, the most important, I would mark a star here, is the sense power. Now, the initial energy uh, defines the energy of a node when the simulation has started. Because all these nodes, all these sensors are going to be wireless sensors, so they will start with some initial energy in mm, you could call it as the charge in the battery of a node it is some something similar to that and tx power represents the power to power required to s transmit a packet receive rx power is the power required to receive a packet and now this is the most important thing sense power now sense power uh, if your uh, if your sensor um, node is sensing something it would it would need some additional power to 
to sense that physical parameter like temperature or um, or any other physical quantity as a matter of fact so these two things these four things are very very important in defining a sensor network so if you look at my sensor network that I have created the first thing is the standard and this is the energy distribution model the energy uh, of the nodes at different um, distances and then some specific parameters related to 802.15.4 and this is what I am talking about now in this particular TCL script file I have defined the initial energy I have defined the Rx power I have defined the Tx power I have not defined the sense power however I'm, I'll be doing that in the next tutorial and uh, we'll see what additional uh, impact does it make on the nodes so mm, this was the first part uh, the first determining or defining part for wireless sensor networks the other part is its spatial distribution now when we come to spatial distribution uh, I have made a network of uh, four nodes where uh, node 3 is going to be the same node 0 1 2 uh, are going to be the transmitting nodes and those transmitting nodes are actually sensor nodes because they will move with um, with a specific pattern around node 0 and they will collect the data and will send it to node 0 uh, node 3 um, I beg your pardon node 3 is the same node so all the three nodes will uh, roam around node 3 and collect the sensing data and send it to node 3 so this is what I'm talking about uh, uh, I would call this thing as special distribution because uh, we are determining the or we are specifying the activities of the sensor now I have divided the uh, movement of all the nodes into um, various stages for example node 0 uh, will move um, in 7 stages and node 1 will move in 9 stages node 2 will move around node 3 in 7 stages so uh, for every CBR traffic that is originating uh, I'm specifying some parameters I'm passing some parameters now those parameters are very important to understand uh, now the order of these parameters that I'm passing along with the CBR traffic is mentioned here the first parameter is source the next one is destination the other one is interval start time stop time packet size and stage now if you have been um, now if you look at the parameters that I've passed along uh, CBR traffic the first one is very clearly understandable and it is the starting node the source node this is the destination node uh, the interval and the starting time the stop time of this particular stage of the traffic transmission and then um, what is going to be the size of the packet and this is going to be the stage number one now if if you are uh, confused about what exactly stage is if you have been uh, watching my previous videos where I create scripts in NSG um, we, uh, we know that uh, we can define uh, stages uh, in a traffic like uh, you know uh, the movement of the node along with the time and along with uh, along with the packet size is defined in first stage and then second stage and so on and so forth so this part is the other defining part in the sensor network which you need to take care of 
once you have taken care of these two parts you're ready to work with your sensor networks and let me just show you this sensor network okay Alright, this is how our network looks like and if we run this so this is going to so these th these three nodes they are mm, the sensor nodes this is the sync node they are collecting some information they might be sending the information to node 3 and everything is being recorded into our output file by the name of scenario one dot nam okay we've got scenario one dot nam and scenario one dot trace we can uh, trace the output file we can fetch meaningful data from it using another software by the name of tracegraph which i have illustrated and explained in my previous videos and in the next video we are going to make changes in the sensor network and we'll analyze the output and we'll change how it affects the output like throughput and all other parameters uh, I hope this introductory uh, tutorial on WSN was helpful and if it was you know what to do you need to click on that like button subscribe button and do not forget to comment thank you and you have a very good day bye